What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be breaking down the bits of career mode that we saw in Esports Box Club official alpha gameplay features and uh, as you guys know and as I know from some of you guys you are huge career mode dudes and so am I, I love career mode, uh, it's one of my, you know, I enjoy online, I enjoy quick fight but there is nothing better than a good career mode and even though we got a limited amount of information, I'd, I'd say when you really look at it there's quite a bit here, I think you guys might learn a thing or two. So they shoot a few snippets, if you will, from the cut man, from the promoter, from fight negotiation, and from when you actually accept your fight and you get to look at your opponent that you're fighting. Uh, we're going to start with the shortest clip that was the cut man. As you see, we've got Jamie Sheldon. He's a tier 10 cut man, which I assume goes from tier 1 up to tier 10. And, uh, and then you see here we've got initial costs, which is £10,000. We've got signed for five fights, cut man contract break cost, which is five grand, and the percentage taken from the fight is 5%. So, you know, if we make a fiver, he takes a pound. No, nope, that's not true at all. That's not true. What does he, what does he take? 50p? Yeah, he takes 50p. Yeah, he takes 50p. If we made a fiver, he'd take 50p. So, it's not actually that bad. It's quite good value for money, I suppose, until we end up making a million, then he gets quite a, quite a good amount. And then we see here, we've got two sets of numbers. We've got a um, set that I assume he does, and then in the brackets, I assume, is what we were before. And because he's a tier 10 cut man I, I'm taking all of these as positive so as you see here he's got t minus 10% on cut recovery swelling reduction and head damage and then minus 5 on body and then in the brackets we've got minus 5 for cut minus 5 for swelling plus 5 for head damage and plus 5 for body damage my assumption of this is what Jamie Sheldon will offer is a minus 10 on chance of getting cut minus 10 on chance of swelling a minus 10 on the amount of damage you'll take to the head and minus 5 on damage you'll take to the body so I assume the numbers in the in the brackets are what your previous cut man done so he was only able to do a minus five on your cut a minus five on your swelling but he made you take five percent more damage to the head and to the body that's my assumption you guys have to let me know if you think something else uh, but as you see there from the tier 10 that will come in handy um, in a bit because there's a lot of those uh, tier things it seems like that's the main system they're going on which I think is fucking wicked uh, my assumption is that Jamie Sheldon is also one of the top cut men in the game with being a tier 10 uh, but for initial cost of 10 grand, that's really not that bad. Um, and for five fights as well, you can't you can't really argue with that. And then we move on to the next bit they shoot, which was promoter. But unfortunately, with this one, we can't see contract deals between you and the promoter because, as you see underneath tier five, it says signed. And what he offers is an 81% negotiation skills, 87% uh, financial benefit, 84% rankings, and 79% social. And what he improves from, I assume, your previous promoter is a plus 7% negotiation skills, plus 11% financial benefits, plus 9% rankings, and plus 10% social. Um, so clearly they've made a promoter very important. And one thing I love about this cut man and promoter system, I was right, by the, by, by the way, about the cut men. Um, it wasn't going to be a mini game. I had a feeling it was going to be all stat based, same as the promoter thing, which I'm super happy for. I think that's a really good way to do it. And with this promoter cut man system, I think... Not only is it simple and easy to understand, it works well and it's a really important system because the promoter and the cutman are such important parts of your boxing career, but you know you, they don't want the, the signing of them to be well over the top. At the end of the day, you're a boxer. You don't do your own cuts. You don't do your own promotion. That is the promoter and the cutman's job. And I think the simplicity of the signing, the simplicity of you know what they do for you just works so well and then more to the point up at the top right you guys will see the money and the fans which is why the social is important because obviously you need a fan to fan base to grow as a boxer at the minute i think that looks that looks like three thousand or thirty i think i think it's just three thousand fans and 50k so uh you know and then obviously you've got the date up there as well and your fighter's rank and your fighter's name and i'm pretty sure up the top there you'll see as well is your fighter's tier so it seems to be you obviously have to get to a certain tier to earn those promoters those cut men as um as part of your team which i think is a is a really simple and perfect idea to execute and next we go on to one of my favorite parts obviously this is quite a bit into the careers you see the rating is now 77 they're up on the top right as well with this rating there is a 31 and 100 i assume that's your monthly training points and then you see a thousand fans 15k the date and then tier 10 under your fight i don't know at the minute what those tier means and how they work this is all just speculation from what i've seen and this is fighter negotiation. As you see, Dalton Smith, your opponent, 11-0. I assume also a 77 rating. I'm making the assumption that is the, your opponent because at the top you'll see Grassy Kidney is, I assume, who you are. And then as we see, we've got on the left-hand side, we've got fight purse, fight location, training weeks, injury insurance, rematch clause, and weight limit, which I'll get into in a minute because those, all those points seem really important when you um, get a bit more, in, bit more depth into them. Then on the right, we've got uh, fight promotion, deductions, staff cost insurance, insu uh, injury insurance, rematch clause, and then you've got potential winnings, guaranteed winnings, social gain, and social guarantee. 
So as you see on the fight pass, we've got from 0 to 100. Obviously a scroll bar, so you get to choose how much you want. It's not always going to be guaranteed, but you at least you get the option of choosing how much to earn. Then for fight location, we've got home, and it says Empire Fight Camp. I don't know if home or away will affect your training, affect how you perform in the ring. As of right now, we don't know. I'm going on the assumption that maybe it just takes a bit of time due to traveling um, out of your camp. That's my only assumption right now. And then we've got training weeks. It does say three weeks, but then there is a three, a, then the bar, and then an eight. So I don't know if that means you're three weeks in to your eight-week training camp. I, as, as of right now, obviously, we, we don't know. Uh, and then we have injury insurance and rematch clause. Both of those are checked. So you can obviously check and uncheck them as necessary. And then, as you see down the bottom, weight limit. That, for me, is super, super exciting. Because you've got £141 pound weight limit to 147 which indicates straight away that there will be a weight-cutting system. That you, your fighter, will need to cut weight. You will need to take time out of your pads, out of your bag, out of your sparring to cut weight to make sure that you do make professional weight Um and if you don't, who knows what happened? You will potentially lose a lot of money. You could, the fight could be cancelled. We, we obviously right now we don't know. And then we move back onto the right side. We've got fight promotion zero to ten k at the moment. It says four thousand. I don't know if that's how much you've made. I don't think it is because it looks like a scroll bar again. I assume that's how much money you put into fight promotion. I assume it's one of those kind of put it in to get a better return thing. But if you don't have the money to put in loads, maybe you can't put in loads to the fight promotion. And then for deductions, like we went for, it's minus ten grand for staff cost insurance and rematch clause but obviously let's be honest 11 fights into your career you're not going to need um, rematch clause you might need injury insurance especially if you know your opponent's going to be a bit of a brawler and then for potential winners you've got 10 uh, 20k sorry and for a guaranteed whether you lose or draw you've got 10 grand and then for social gain you've got a thousand and a guaranteed 500 fans then at the very bottom of this We've got a 75% success chance of a ne of negotiating this this uh, this fight. Sorry, which um, it doesn't look too bad. You know, it looks like you've got the home advantage there. Looks like you're splitting at 50-50. Looks like you're putting in 4,000 for the prom fight promotion. Looks like you'll get walking over guaranteed 20k, and so will your opponent. And then obviously there's a rematch. I assume if you uncheck the rematch clause, I think the opponent would probably agree to it 100%. But that could obviously waver, you know, at this at this level, how many young fighters are going to want a rematch clause in a fight that really might not mean much? So, um, but I love this negotiation page. This might be one of my favorite bits of the whole career um, from what I've seen so far. It looks fucking awesome. And I, I, I can't wait to, you know, become someone who fights very little, someone who fights for a lot, you know, the money man kind of system. And move on to the final bit we saw. And that looks to be when you actually accept the fight, you have your uh, you have the opponent's stats. Here we've got Sergio Maravilla Martinez, and he's got 90 health and 91 stamina. And I, I assume by the green arrow under 90 health and the white line under stamina, that means you are matching his stamina, although he has better health. And then we see here he's got health, re health at 89, health regen at 91, health recovery at 90, stamina at 92, Stamina regen at 90 and stamina recovery at 91. And his overall rating is an 89. But then, obviously, for the five other bars that we can't see, we can see brief numbers. Accuracy, I see there. Um, oh, what else do I see? Defense, potential, uh, power, I see as well. But the rest of them we can't see because it says tier 3 coach required, tier 5, tier 7, tier 9, and tier 10. Yet again, onto the tier system. But you see up the top, we're now an 80 rank, um, rating, sorry, with 32,000 fans, 230k in the bank. And yet again, the, the tier 10 up the top, which I don't know what that means as of right now. And then down the bottom, as you see, we have coach comments, which says dangerous when hurt. Then tier 5, tier 9, and looks to be a scroll bar. So there could be a higher coach and a higher cut man and a higher promoter than tier 10. Whether or not tier 9 and tier 10 unlock three or four coach comments each, we don't know. I, I think maybe it could go up to tier 15. But as of right now, I'm betting on tier 10 being the max. And uh, yeah, but that is all... I have been able to gather from these limited shots. Obviously, we literally got the cut man, uh, the promoter. We got the um, fight negotiation. And then we got the screen of your actual person you're going to be fighting. All in all, I think it's pretty fucking cool. Uh, you guys know I'm a career guy. I love it. I love playing the career. There's nothing better than a good career mode. And uh, I'm so excited for it, which is why I thought I had to break this down. I will do the gameplay at some point, but I just had to do the career mode. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this, guys. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you want more esports boxing club uh, news breakdowns, things like that. And uh, yeah, man, I'm fucking excited. Let me know if I missed anything. You guys know I'm not trying to cover, you know, you guys are not trying to be a know it all. If I missed anything that you guys thought was interesting, let me know and I'll be sure to reply to the comments straight away. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching as always, guys, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.